So before I started recording, I put one coat of number 131 gel polish on this nail and then uh, cured it. And now I'm taking rose gold transfer foil and just using the dispersion layer on that gel polish to apply it all over the nail. You can use as little or as much as you'd like depending on the look that you're going for. This is one of our newest colors from Ugly Duckling. It is number 143 and it is delicious, if I may say so myself. <laughs> I took most of the product off my brush there in that scene and now I'm just going in and I'm basically dry brushing on the nail with some of the color. By taking most of the color off the brush beforehand, this is what's going to help create those brush strokes. Um, and you can see the definition of the lines. Um, I'm concentrating the color mostly at the cuticle and the free edge. Now I'm taking our angled student brush from Ugly Duckling and white schmelt it and I'm adding more brush strokes on the surface of the nail. You guys are probably wondering why schmelt it instead of gel polish. Schmelt it is a little bit thicker in viscosity than gel polish and this helps create more prominent brush strokes on the nail. You can really see the drags and the strokes of the brush this way using a bit thicker of a gel. With that same angled brush, I'm going back with black schmelt it and adding more brush strokes on the surface of the nail. You guys don't have to use black, white, and red. Um, my nails, obviously, in this video, I just use the um, rose gold transfer foil and then black and white schmelt it. I just threw in the red to kind of create a more festive look, um, something that you can wear in fall. You can definitely interchange the colors to go with the seasons or a theme if you'd like. Now I'm using my Ugly Duckling gel brush and I've mixed a mixture of base top and number 44 gel polish which is our white and I've created this milky translucent white color and I'm just going over random spots on the nail. Um, this is kind of muting the color in the foil that's underneath. It really gives a neat effect to the overall look I think. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I just like a lot going on on my nails and as you can see there's a lot going on here. <laughs> Using that same piece of rose gold transfer foil that we used in the beginning, I'm going to take it and in this frame you're going to see me crumple it up and create lots of creases in it. By creating lots of creases in it, it actually um, makes some of the foil kind of come off. You'll see it on my fingers from crumpling it up. And doing this will help us in the next step. I'm going to add a little bit more to the nail, but because of the crinkles and the wrinkles in the foil, not all the whole surface of the foil is going to touch the nail. As always, you're going to seal the nail with matte or no white, put in the light for full cure, and your nail is complete. Hey, let's be social. Find me on Instagram at Natasha Harton.